everyone, and welcome to our first five minutes or less video. I'm Mark Wally, and I lead our publisher go-to-market team focused on privacy. I just wanted to say that all of us at Google care deeply about the success of publishers and their vital role in a thriving, free, and open internet. And that's why we're creating a new video series to help you, our publisher partners, to navigate the complex changes happening in the industry around you. We'll cover a wide variety of topics over time. Let's get started. Question one, why is privacy such a focus right now? Well, it's because users are asking for more privacy on the web. In addition, governments around the world are passing new laws to protect how users' personal information is used online. And to keep up with these changes, the industry must reinvent several digital advertising capabilities that we've relied on for decades. At the heart of the digital ads ecosystem today is the third-party cookie. That third-party cookie has enabled tremendous innovation and economic growth, but the 25-year-old technology just wasn't developed with user privacy in mind. So to meet users' expectations, Google is moving away from third-party cookies and advertising solutions that track individual users as they browse across the web. With this approach, we're charting a path towards sustainability for publishers, for advertisers, and for users. Next question, what is the privacy sandbox and how does it work? The privacy sandbox is an open source technology suite that Google's been partnering with the web community on. It uses the browser to reinvent key web and advertising capabilities that are powered by third-party cookies today, but in a much more privacy-friendly way for the future. And I get the cross-browser question a lot. These capabilities that we're talking about are proposed to work not only in Chrome, but across all web browsers. Since you have a vested interest in the future of advertising, you should know that many of the Privacy Sandbox proposals were created to support you and the ads ecosystem while also prioritizing user privacy. To learn more, check out privacysandbox.com. But just remember that all current proposals and capabilities will evolve as we continue to develop and test them. Next up, when will third-party cookies go away? Just to be clear, third-party cookies have already been removed from several major browsers. Chrome recently announced a timeline to fully end support for third-party cookies in late 2023, with a detailed plan ensuring time for the industry to transition. Between now and then, Chrome will be developing, testing, and iterating on the Privacy Sandbox solutions, taking web community feedback into account with each cycle. If you want more details, visit privacysandbox.com timeline. This next question is probably the one I hear the most often, and that's, what does all of this mean for publishers' revenue? The short answer is that it's too early to tell, and that different kinds of publishers may experience these changes in different ways. As testing progresses through 2022, and then pieces fall into place in 2023, we'll have a much clearer sense of how publisher revenue may be impacted. But I want you to know our goal is to help you sustain the value of your ad inventory. We believe that the privacy sandbox, along with other investments we're making in our ad platforms, like data and identity solutions, will support you in this industry shift. Last question, what will I need to do to use the privacy sandbox? I've got some good news. We expect little to no implementation work for publishers to carry out when it comes to the privacy sandbox. In fact, most of the integration efforts sit with ad tech providers themselves. As customers of those services, you'll automatically be using the new cutting edge privacy solutions, allowing you to focus on growing your business. Thanks for watching five minutes or less. I hope I was able to answer some of the questions on your mind as you think about privacy and other ecosystem changes. We're here to support you through this industry evolution. As I mentioned, we'll be producing one of these privacy Q&A videos every few months, so stay tuned for the next episode. Until next time, take care.